We are not aware of any credible threat here of a Paris-type attack, and we have seen no connection at all between the Paris attackers and the United States. ISIL and its supporters put out all kinds of propaganda, like videos and magazines, but that is not credible intelligence. Of course, we investigate all of those propaganda threats. But instead, the threat here focuses primarily on troubled souls in America who are being inspired or enabled online to do something violent for ISIL. We have stopped a lot of those people this year, especially leading up to July 4th. And there are others we worry about, and we cover all across the country using all of our lawful tools. Do not let fear become disabling. That is what the terrorists want. They want you to imagine them in the shadows. They want you to imagine them as something greater than they are. Instead, we hope that you will turn fear into healthy awareness of what's around you. If you see something that gives you a bad feeling, tell somebody in law enforcement. Since September 11th, we have really worked to get ourselves organized in such a way that if you walk up and tell any police officer in this country or any deputy sheriff in this country that you saw something that didn't seem right, you heard something that didn't seem right, or you read something online that seemed off, that information will get to the right people immediately. You can count on it. And we will check it out. If it's nothing, no harm done. But if it was something, great harm may be avoided. But counterterrorism is what you pay us to do. Tell us what you saw and then go on living your lives, living your life while we do our work. That is channeling fear into something healthy, which is a awareness of your surroundings and not something disabling. That's what we hope you will do.